Alright, I am Dr. McFarlane, and in this video, I'm going to get surgical with the floor pod in line 6. Alright, so I was over at a friend's house helping him uh, set up a pedal board, and he was like, Hey man, I got a, got this cool floor pod from line 6, and uh, you know, not really using it a whole lot right now. So I was like, well... I'll uh I'll borrow it for a little while and see what kind of tones I can get from it. So, um, I like to think that I have a, a pretty good basis for how to get sweet tone out of uh, all kinds of different gear. So once I looked at it, I was like, well, I mean, it doesn't look too difficult. I looked at the ins and outs, and there is a stereo out on this with also a uh, there's like a direct and an amp mode. So what I'm doing here is I have my Quilter Mocker Pro Mach 2 plugged into my 2x12 cab and I'm using the floor pod as the basically a preamp section just like I would use my head rush or, or anything else that has amp modeling in it. Because as you see over here you got clean, class A, classic, high gain, tread plate, and insane. So these are all different amp models that you can choose from to create your uh, your clean tones and your overdrive tones and distortion tones. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the left output over here and sending it to the effects return of my quilter. So basically this setup is creating a preamp and the quilter is providing the power amp and then I got the uh, the 2x12 cab down here as my speaker. So that completes the the normal chain that you would have in any amplifier because that's what you need you got to have the preamp the power section and then the speaker so um, I went ahead and made a few different presets here so let me go to a patch here and let me just make one from scratch so so we can choose there's a lot of stuff going on here so for each amp model you got either green or red okay and right now, let's keep it on the green. And you're hearing a flange chorus. So this kind of works in a way to where, you know, as you start turning the knob, it's either going to go from slow to fast or, or uh, you know, just like a very gradual kind of stuff. Okay, there's tremolo, phaser, and there's flange. We also have a delay, a sweep echo, and a reverb over here that we can choose from. Then you got three different knobs to control the amplifier as far as the drive, bass, and treble. And then for the middle and, and presence, and there's also a compressor, you have to hold the save button while you're turning these three knobs. And that gives you those uh, the alternative features. As it says right here, there's an alt feature. So that's just the secondary function of these knobs, okay? So once I, uh, I had to download the manual to read up on how all this works. But once I read it, it's like, oh, okay, that's not too difficult. So, um, so first of all, we do have a channel volume that you can control right here. And then you got a drive. So you can turn that all the way down or you can crank it up. Okay, but right now we're on the on the green uh, channel of the clean, and I think that's the uh, the blackface um, Fender amp. So, all right. So right away. It is very bright sounding, and to someone who's not very experienced, they're like, oh, that sounds horrible. I don't like this thing. It's a piece of crap, and I'm just going to throw it away. It's like, no, all the tones you need are in there. You just got to tweak the knob. So, so first of all, we're going to just mess with the bass and treble. Okay, so let's turn up the bass a little bit. Let's turn down the treble. Let's go ahead and turn the channel volume up to a, a good level so we can uh, make sure our gain changing is right.
All right, that sounds good. So this is a clean amp, so it's okay to, you know, drive the amp a little bit. Okay. Because you want it to that spot where it sounds nice and full, and it kind of blooms just a little bit when you dig in, so... So because I've turned the drive up, I'm now going to turn the channel volume back down. Okay. Now there's still a mid and a presence feature. So what you have to do to push and hold the alternate feature button right here. And then you got to turn the dial. This is going to adjust the presence. So it still sounds a little bright to me. So I'm just going to turn the presence down. And then I'm going to turn the, the mids up about 12 o'clock. So once you release that, it goes back into normal mode. So you can adjust the bass and treble. So, so let's turn the bass down. Okay, we could probably stand to raise the treble up just a little bit since we turned the presence down. It all just depends on what you want to hear. So let me, let me flip over to the, uh, the neck pickup. And here's the middle pickup. That's cool. Let's adjust the compressor right here. So I'm going to hold this button with my thumb and then you can raise or lower the amount of compression. So let's hear what it sounds like in the middle. You can definitely hear it squash, squash up really good. So. That's, that's pretty good for me. Here, I'm going to turn the reverb off on the amp. All right, this is a, that's a good clean tone for me. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what some a little bit of reverb sounds like from the uh, pedal over here. Okay, so you can hear just a little hall reverb. crank it up okay but it's just giving you a very simple from very low to very large or small to large kind of reverb sound If we want to put some delay in there, we could do that. You just can't have delay and reverb at the same time. You kind of have to pick which one you want. So here's a little bit of delay. You can tap the tempo right here. Now, if you hold the bypass delay button for one second, the the yellow LED comes on, and now you can actually turn on and off the reverb or the uh, the other yeah the reverb or the delay. So here's with it off. Here's with it on. Okay. Now the distortion is really just a, a gain boost on the amp. And 
you can turn on some modulation and hear some tremolo. <laughs> So you can turn these on and off whichever way you want. All right, so I like that. So I'm, I'm just gonna simply push the save button, see how it blinks. So now I can scroll through the different presets and I can choose what I want. So I'm just gonna keep it on uh, preset eight. So I'm gonna press it again, and it blinks, and now we're good. So if I, if I go away from it here, so there's an overdrive tone I've already made. I go back, so there's my, uh, there's my sound. All right, so I already made some presets earlier when I was in the process of learning how to use this. So here's a, a clean preset. And here's a, I should go to five, so. So this has some, uh, some tremolo and a little bit of delay on it. I can go up to six and here's just a plain clean. Let's say I wanted to add in some uh, some reverb here. Let's go ahead and do that. Is this a little this a little dry? And turn up the uh, the channel volume. Alright, so once again, we're just going to press save, it's going to blink, and I'm going to press it again, and now it's saved. So it's pretty easy. So back to five. Let's turn up the channel volume on that one. Save, save. So easy. Back to six. Okay, go up to seven. Here's a, uh, this is a high gain. I'm pretty sure it's the, the Mesa Boogie dual rack kind of sound. So. <laughs> Save. All right, cool, man. That's great. And then going up to eight, here's uh, the other preset I just made. Bro, let's say I want to, let's go to class A here. So that's going to give me uh, just a good rhythm tone. Let's turn this presence down by holding the alt feature button while turning the knob. And also let's adjust the, the mid range. Let's adjust the bass. Let's adjust the treble. Sounds great. 
Let's go from here. Just a little bit of delay. All right. Let's actually save this to... Um... All right, let's save this real fast. So let's reiterate. So we got five. It's a clean with tremolo and delay. Six. It's just plain, uh, just plain. It's actually clean with reverb. And then seven. Our high gain sound, and then eight. Okay, that's more of our crunch sound. So let's put these in a slightly different order. So let's go, um, let's move seven to number nine. That didn't work. Let's move seven. That's push. So let's move that to nine. And let's move five up to seven. All right, so that's gonna give us six is clean. Seven is clean with tremolo and delay. Eight is a uh, more of a crunchy tone, and then nine is a uh, high gain. All right, there you go. I think I could take this to any gig and have a good clean tone, have a good crunch, and have a good lead, and uh, pretty much be set the rest of the night. So um, with any one of these, you could also hold the switch and turn on and off, you know, different stuff if you wanted to. Um, Save that. Back to eight. Actually, back to eight. Back to seven. And back to six. Awesome. Well, this has been the floor pod from line six. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And until next time, I am Dr. McFarland. Keep rocking. So if you want to see great content all in one place, be sure to check out drmcfarlandstudios.com.